What are some of the various whims that can impact job security? Well, <laughs> it's a strange business in that, uh, especially when you're on television and people see you, everybody thinks they can do a better job. I mean, have you ever sat around and watched a game with your friends and go, oh, that guy's terrible, I could do that. Well, it's not quite as easy as you think it might be. So you really get the whim of, of, of owners, if a particular owner says, you know, I think this guy's a smart aleck, let's put somebody else in there. And that happened to one of my partners once. Uh, a baseball owner thought that he was a smart aleck, so he said, fire him. And that's just like that, he was gone. So you're really at the whim of, of the owners of the teams. Um, sometimes critics will get on your case. Uh, talk show hosts, again, getting back to social media now, you know, there are Twitter uh, tweets all the time about, oh, this guy's terrible, or this guy's great, or or whatever. I think what you have to do, though, is you kind of put on the blinders and, and just look straight ahead and do the best job you can. Don't try to please people. I learned that early on. Just be yourself. I think that's what makes broadcasters successful. If you can just be yourself on the air, sounds easy. But it's not. But, you know, don't try to please everybody. Just prepare, go out, and do the best job you can do. And when it's over, move on. Although it's not that easy if you make mistakes because you'll walk, be watching the tape <laughs> ten times trying to make your corrections. But, uh, yeah, you're at the whim of a, a lot of people. 